one, and a two, and a three, and a four, here we go. Hey Shagheads, Curtis Tucker here with uh, a Shaggy Duck Live, back for another episode. It has been, again, so long since I've been doing regular episodes, I can't even remember what my uh, old opening used to be. So I'm just going with whatever comes to my mind today. But uh, first thing is happy new year to all you guys out there. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And it is today is January 1st, 2023. I can't believe we've started a whole new year. Uh, last year had it, uh, its ups and downs, uh, more ups than downs, but um, looking forward to getting uh, a lot more positive things, a lot more fun stuff uh, going this year. So I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve. I hope everybody has some great ideas and some stuff going on for 2023. Don't forget, this is kind of my little podcast blog about uh, journaling, uh, kind of my personal journal of running uh, Shaggy Deck Studio, Enid Buzz, all that other stuff. This is kind of a behind the scenes and what's going on with me uh, type of podcast. Still looking for an exact direction. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. You guys can hit me up at shags at shaggyduck.com uh, as far as the email. And don't forget, if you're listening to this podcast, you can go to YouTube dot com slash Curtis Tucker TV or now they've got those new um, at things on YouTube and it's at Curtis Tucker and you can actually watch this podcast on YouTube I'm waving at you right there you can uh, see my Shaggy Duck studio in the background uh, looks a little busy and crowded back there and I'm getting ready to organize it and make it look a little better but uh, I like my studio to look a little bit cluttered just because I've got so much stuff stuck in here and it's kind of fun to be able to come in here and you know not exactly see everything the first time sometimes you have to come back several times before you ever see everything uh, on my shelves and walls and all that so I kind of like uh, running a studio like that so today's episode of a shaggy Duck Life. Uh, she could probably tell by the title, uh, 20 Life Changes for 2023. So I thought I would throw these at you, kind of a good time to uh, make some changes. You know, not that there's a huge difference between January 1st of 2023 and December 31st of 2022. Uh, it's still, everything's still kind of going the same, but uh, we as uh, people like to mark that January 1st day. Uh, it's kind of a great day to, you know, start your new goals or resolutions or, or things like that. So a lot of people um, do that. But uh, I think I've said in the past, and I would always encourage you, don't wait until uh, January 1st to begin something like starting a business or uh, you know, just doing something positive for your life. Start it immediately. You do not have to wait until the first of the year um, to start uh, that type of stuff. Okay, so uh, I'm noticing that I'm saying uh, a lot more. I think I'd gotten rid of those uh, back in the day uh, because the more you podcast, the more you become aware and, and you do that. So I'm going to try to stop saying that this podcast episode so you guys don't have to hear that. These uh, 20 life changes that I'm going to give you, these are, these are for me, maybe they, uh, a couple of them will be a uh, type of stuff that you guys might want to try, but these are not going to be resolutions or goals that I have set for 2023. These are actual changes that I will be doing. They will be done throughout the year, maybe not all uh, here at January, first or in January, but they will all be done by the end of the year. And again, they're not goals, they are changes. And you can read these uh, in written form on the curtistucker.com blog. Go there and at the bottom, uh, there's also a link to this podcast so you can listen to it there. So there's all kinds of ways of getting my podcasts and blogs, uh, YouTube, the actual blog, or right here on the podcast. 
Uh, my hope is that these changes will improve the way that I work this year because I know I've gone the past several years uh, just not being able to keep up and getting behind on certain things. So this list will help with that. It also help uh, make things for me a little bit happier, a little more positive. I've learned that uh, the more positive that you put in, the more positive that you're going to give out. And so this will uh, help in that regard as well. Reading off some of my notes here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So number one, uh, this one I've needed to do for a while, but I'm going to be updating. And, the, and some of these are may seem kind of big. Most of them are just small. Most of them uh, of the 20 are small changes. Uh, this one's really small, but I think this one's going to really help out a lot. But I'm going to be updating my music playlist. So I've uh, created a playlist of a lot of my favorite songs. And over the last several years, I just keep adding new songs that I remember or that I run across that I really like. And so I've got this really huge playlist of songs. And I looked the other day and it is like nine and a half hours long. And so sometimes when I'm out on the trail or, or sitting here in the office, sometimes I wonder why don't I ever hear this particular song or that particular song. And it's because I've got way too many songs on the list. And what's kind of weird is when I, on my Apple devices, I click shuffle and yet it's so weird that I tend to hear the same group of songs over and over again. And then there's some songs that I really like that I literally never hear. So what I'm gonna do, probably the most uh, that I ever listen at one time is probably about 90 minutes. If I go out on the trail and I don't listen to podcasts, I listen to that playlist. And so what I think I'm gonna do is whittle that nine and a half hours down to two hours. And then that way there'll be, you know, I'll get 90 minutes, which will leave 30 minutes unheard. But hopefully with all the shuffle, it'll it'll give me a pretty good mix over time. And then if I need to add, you know, more and get up to maybe three hours worth of songs, then I may do that. But so that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, either do that tonight or tomorrow, actually, is uh, pick out and not necessarily my favorite songs, but, but songs that inspire me or that are fun to listen to uh, if I'm working or out on the trail. That will be this set of songs. And again, probably gonna start out with 90, no, probably, probably go two hours worth and then see how that works out. So uh, number two on my list, I'm cleaning out my closet. Uh, I've kind of started that. I mean, I've done that a couple times here within the last year or two, like I believe last year, I got rid of a lot of t-shirts. I still have a bazillion t-shirts. So I've got to go through those again. I've got jeans and, and pants. I've got shirts that I've had for 20 years. I've got some shoes that I probably had for 25 years. I need to uh, go through, clean it out. Uh, that way there's more room that'll leave me more room to buy new clothes and then maybe I won't feel so guilty buying some new things and not, you know, it might be thrift store clothing, but just it always it seems like it's always fun to wear something that you've never worn before. And one thing that I noticed is some of the clothing that I had gotten rid of before and put in bags and then stored them in the garage to give them away like a year later uh, still hadn't found a place to give them. It's kind of fun to grab a couple of those old pieces of clothing that weren't in your closet for a while and wear them again. But then, of course, uh, very quickly, you, you don't want to wear them again. But So I've, I've even got some fairly new shirts and stuff that I just know uh, I've worn a couple times and I'm like, yeah, no, nope, I'm not... I'm not feeling that shirt or those jeans or, you know, whatever it is or those shoes. And so instead of just hanging on to them because either they're in good shape or I spent money on them, I'm going to get rid of them. So going through the closet, going to clean out, going to reduce uh, the amount. And then that's another thing. When you're going in trying to find something to wear, there's so much in there. You know, if I can whittle it down, then I don't have as many choices and 
I'll just pop something on. Uh, I think there is something to be said for Steve Jobs and some of those people that wore the same. If you didn't know, they wore the same thing every day, and not not the actual same, but like. You know, I think Steve Jobs had like 20 of the same shirt, 20 of the same pants, 20 of the same, you know, and he, it was the same look that he wore every day. And that made it really simple uh, to go into your closet and get dressed every day. Also makes it pretty simple when you go buying clothes. Uh, I will also be going through all of my junk, and I say junk, but what I mean by junk is just like stuff that I haul from house to house to house in boxes and feel like, you know, I need to be... Uh, hauling that around with me. Now is the time to get rid of it. I've got a lot of art books that I've had probably since before college and then through college. I've got uh, older Apple devices, computers that I know I will never ever use. Some of the technology is so old it can't even be used, but uh, I still continue to drag it around. Uh, I don't. I didn't know what the word. I know there's a word out there for this, but shelf souvenirs. Uh, I've just got a lot of stuffed animal and things that I have set on the shelves for years. They are stuck in boxes. I do not really have much shelf space left, and so I'm going to have to get rid of a lot of that stuff. Uh, what I plan on doing is uh, tossing some of that stuff, selling some of it, and then giving some of it away. So if you guys uh, have seen some of the stuff that I have. Uh, stay tuned because some of it will be available. I'll stick it on, oh, I don't know, Facebook or the website or somewhere and show you guys what uh, what is available. So uh, going through clothing and junk, that's going to eliminate a lot of clutter. Number four, uh, I'm going to look for a new podcast. Uh, some morning, well, a lot of mornings now, you know, I do listen to 90 minutes of podcast. I've gone through different phases. I think the first phase was like, um, yeah, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, the first phase was like productivity and social media, marketing, those type of podcasts. And then they all kind of became uh, monotonous. And then Eventually, I think I started uh, crime podcasts, and those got old, and uh, now I'm doing a little bit of not like deep political, but a little bit. I, I want to find some podcasts that are fun, inspirational, and give me ideas for my own podcast. So uh, the plan is, the change that I'm going to make this year is to find one new podcast that I'll listen to at least once a week and that just gives me some new perspective, uh, some new positivity, positivity or something that is uplifting. So if you guys have any suggestions, hit me up, shags at shaggyduck.com or hit me up on one of my social media sites, my Facebook page or something, and let me know what you guys recommend. I know uh, if you're listening to this podcast, then you guys are podcast listeners, so maybe you've got some ideas for me. I number five. I'm going to order. Now this is going to be kind of fun. I'm I, you know, because we just got through uh, Christmas and my wife's birthday, and uh, just ordering online has become so easy, and shipping has become free and so quick. I've been ordering a lot of stuff online, and then living in the town that we live in, unfortunately, uh, like as far as men's clothing, they're just there's just no, we just have really no place to buy men's clothing, so I have to order a lot of it online or, uh, you know, go to other towns. But, so uh, I've enjoyed getting the packages, and I, it's something that I'm not going to get addicted to, but it's just kind of fun to have that anticipation of knowing that something's coming, you know, in the mail, and you're going to get to open it, and there's going to be something new there. So, what I plan on doing is ordering something online every week, whether I need it or not. Uh, a lot of the stuff I will need, it's not going to be like expensive stuff. It could be, you know, a five or ten dollar item, uh, hopefully, that is shipped for free. But, uh, and, you know, not that everything will get delivered that week, but that'll make it kind of fun. Maybe some of the things, you know, might be 
not delivered for three weeks. Well, then I kind of forget about it and then there's a surprise that comes. So uh, hopefully that will be something fun and positive for 2023, but I will be ordering something online every week. So I look forward to that. Number six, I'm going to organize my bills and my company billing. Uh, just have not kept up with that. Just, I don't know what's happened, but uh, on my bills, uh, have been ended up paying some late fees, which I shouldn't have to pay. So I'm going to eliminate the, the late fees in 2023, start paying all the bills on time, kind of come up with a system for that. And then billing my clients, I just get behind on that. Uh, that causes, uh, you know, some clients to not pay because the invoice didn't come for so long. So going to get all of the billing and bills a system worked out and then if I if I can't get it done here in a month or two I'll just uh, buckle down and hire somebody to get all of that done but I think I can get it done I just have to get a little more organized that's the whole point of these changes is to get a little more organized to give me a little more free time to get some other fun cool things done that that I'm wanting to do I've got to I got to get out of the rut that I've gotten myself into in the past year and uh, one of the ways to do that is to come up with these new little systems. So number seven, although I've already started, I will continue to listen to one vinyl album every morning. So that's been fun, uh, collecting this vinyl and getting uh, my vinyl collection right now is way superior to the vinyl collection that I sold at the garage sale for 50 bucks. I've got some really great albums, some uh, majority of them are old 70s rock and roll, but uh, I've got a lot of uh, soundtracks, scores to movies, uh, things like that that I've gotten here lately. And it's fun to come into the office first thing in the morning and put an album on and do my personal social media updating and doing some work on some photographs that maybe I'd just taken. And so, and then I post, whenever I post in the morning, I tell people what the vinyl uh, record of the day is and so that's been fun so I plan on continuing to do that uh, I'll cycle through you know sometimes most of the time it's not like I have a, a you know the albums in order and I'll just keep playing them in order it's you know whatever I feel that day do I feel like a Fleetwood Mac song would be good or an REO song uh, if it's the holidays you know it might be uh, Christmas music but I plan on uh, continuing my vinyl of the day and listening to a new vinyl record. So I, I don't know if I, I probably said this before, but uh, you know, working here in my studio, I don't normally flip on the TV. And sometimes I just, I mean, most of the time, uh, especially for the last, you know, years and years and years, I plop down uh, at my desk and get online and start doing my social media and updating and you know, writing and stuff like that, and I never listen to anything. I mean, a lot of times I go six, eight, ten hours. Now, usually after five o'clock, I'll flip on the TV just for noise and, and whatever reality shows or stuff that I might want to watch, but throughout the day, I normally don't listen to anything. Sometimes it's a little distracting if I'm trying to think or write, uh, but uh, so it's fun getting that music for the, you know, maybe. Uh, you know, albums don't last that long, so maybe 30 minutes every morning getting some music. Uh, so I will continue that. Number eight, I'm going to shut down my online work a little around 11.45. Yeah, so sometimes, uh, a lot of times I get into the habit of uh, just working, working, working until I look at the clock and it's like 12.45 and I'm like, oh, poop, I need to you know, wrap it up and go to bed. So the goal, the change, uh, not goal, the change will be to start shutting the computer off at 11.45, which means I can get in and hopefully uh, get in bed by midnight, try to increase the number of hours that I sleep every night. I know that uh, health-wise, I do pretty good on everything except the sleep thing and I know study after study after study that I read says that you need more sleep and I just can't bring myself to do that but uh, the change this year will be to get as close to seven hours of sleep every night that I can. Uh, so I wake up at 5 47 in the morning 
uh, to get up to go do my 90 minutes on the trail every morning and so there's really no no fluctuation in the morning because I don't want to get up later um, you know one of the reasons I go early in the morning and I get up early is to get it out of the way I, there's no interruptions uh, nobody's relying on me for anything between those hours of about 6:20 to 8 o'clock and that's also when I catch the sunrises and so uh, the my walks or runs and and going out I don't it, it just wouldn't be as cool as it is without the sunrises uh, and that's one of the main purposes of going when I do so the only way to increase my sleep is to go to bed well, I guess there's two ways either go to bed earlier or start taking a nap so I may start uh, one of these days I may and that that may have to go on the list of doing a power nap every day we'll have to see see what goes on there number nine I'm going to play my guitars every week so uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned on the last podcast but I did purchase an amplifier it's a uh, orange the brand is orange and uh, I hooked up my fender to it the other day and had fun just kind of plunking around and so I'm going to uh, start to play either my electric or my acoustic uh, just a little bit every week I'm trying to figure out maybe some music to a 70s song that I'm writing and uh, just to try to remember uh, it's just it's fun and relaxing to play the guitars and I think I've forgotten pretty much you know all the songs that I did used to know now I know I can remember bits and parts of them but I don't know that I remember a full song but hopefully I can start to remember some of those and um, come up with some new songs that I didn't know how to play and I don't know where that's gonna go um, I am looking currently so I've got a Fender Stratocaster and I've got the uh, Takamine electric acoustic which I always just play acoustically but uh, I am looking for a Les Paul probably a Epiphone not an expensive uh, Les Paul but I kinda like the feel and the playing of a Les Paul but I don't want to get rid of the Strat that way I'll have both and I think that'll make it funner to play so I think getting a new guitar again cheap will help me uh, want to play a little more so plan on uh, maybe I'll even play my guitar on the podcast you never know number 10 I'm going to plan a date night every month with my hot wife yeah I kind of got out of the habit of that but um, with this whole football season you know going to games literally every weekend during the football season to see our girls palming has been fun um, you know we've been going to Fayetteville and Norman and doing lots of stuff and hitting the bars and and so that's been fun we just went uh, I took her to Norman to stay in a hotel and uh, we went to a New Year's Eve party this weekend and so uh, eventually here within about two years the girls are going to graduate and will not be in Palm anymore so we're not going to have to go to football games every weekend and but I want to go ahead and keep uh, even so beyond football season and then beyond uh, going to football games for our girls I want to go ahead and continue that so I'm going to start planning more uh, just dates to maybe Airbnbs or you know just a, a night away well, at least once every month we'll see uh, where all of that leads to so number 11 I plan on this one's kind of this one's simple uh, I plan on looking at the stars every night before I go to bed so I uh, used when we lived in this house the first time there, there's a podcast uh, prior if you guys want to go back that talks about we used to live in this house and then move for six years and now we're back in this house but when we lived in this house before uh, before I'd go to bed I'd go out into the driveway and you can see the stars and it's just kind of sheltered where a lot of the city light you know doesn't uh, make it hard to cease and so I'd spend a lot of time not you know maybe five minutes out there but I would try to get out there especially in the summer when it's warm and get out there and just look at the stars and then when we moved to the house in between living here twice uh, it was called the woodlands and so it had a lot of trees and was just in an area where it was just hard to see you know the sky and so basically for six years I just kinda quit doing that but now that we're back in this house again I'm going to make that a habit and uh, it's just kind of a 
it's kind of a quick way to meditate, to just look at the stars and think about, uh, yeah, we're pretty insignificant compared to when you look up at the stars and you see all of that out there and then you're trying to figure it all out. So it's kind of cool looking at the stars. So anyway, going to put that back on my list. That will be a change. Number 12, uh, I'm going to log every message, text, email, and phone call. So a lot of that has to do with my business, Enid Buzz. I get a lot of people trying to contact me. The problem is I get so much that, you know, I can't answer it all. And then, then like, three days later I'll remember oh somebody needed something and and then I want to answer them so I want to go back and uh, you know re read or listen to their message so I can answer them but then I forget did they call me did they text me did they email me did they try to get a hold of me on my Facebook page on the Enid Buzz Facebook page and so I I just literally can't remember there's just too many messages coming in and even though I will not be able to answer everybody uh, at least so I'm gonna like just get a, a simple notebook or something and and every time immediately as I read the message I'll log it so and then I can say you know either it was a text or a phone call and that way at least I'll know and uh, then I can look at that and I can know how far you know behind I'm getting but uh, there, there just is no way I can answer all of the emails, messages, and things that I get, um, but I will try to at least uh, contact you know the ones that super duper need to be contacted. So that's going to be uh, that's really going to help. We'll see how that goes. Number thirteen, um, since I am going to be cleaning out my closet uh, due to the, one of the prior things on this list, I'm going to need to replace some of my wardrobe and so I'm going to try to continue to update my clothing you know with some things that are a little more trendier or up to date you know um, not everything because uh, some things a 60 year old uh, should not be wearing you know some of the things that the younger guys are going to be wearing I probably should not but uh, I will uh, look at updating my shirts pants suits things like that, like I said before, some of that stuff I've had for 5, 10, 20 years, and so it is time to clean some of that out and be able to replace it with some new stuff. And it might even just be, you know, new colors or materials that, uh, I've noticed that a lot of my newer shirts are made of materials that I've never had before, and so just even updating your wardrobe with uh, new materials that are out on the market uh, can help. Number 14, I know I need more health screenings. Um, luckily, I'm gonna knock on uh, wood somewhere. Do I have any wood? Oh, my guitar's wood. I'm gonna knock on my guitar right there. Um, luckily, I've stayed pretty darn healthy. Uh, a lot of that has to do with getting out for 90 minutes and uh, lifting a little bit of weight here and there. But um, I'm on no medications, uh, have not been. I'm gonna knock on my guitar, knock on wood again real quick. But uh, I know that now that I have reached 60 years old, there are gonna be some parts of me that are gonna start uh, you know, to not be as healthy as they are now. But uh, I wanna stay ahead of some of that. So I'm probably going to try to get a few more health screenings than I probably would just to and then that way if uh, they catch something early uh, it's a lot easier to tackle it and get it repaired uh, plus also if you get some health screenings and they tell you hey you're headed for this if you don't do this well then you know I might have to change my diet a little bit or you know, ju ju that's really all I can really change because I already work out. I don't smoke. I don't drink uh, on a regular basis. Um, I don't drink coffee. I mean, there's tea is about the only regular thing that I, you know, intake. And so anyway, um, you know, maybe I need to do a certain kind of exercise or breathing. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But anyway, so uh, look for me to have a few more health screenings uh, this year just to uh, keep ahead of anything that might be coming up and if you have not heard you know my goal is to make it to a hundred 
and two years old. And so we just uh, went down and celebrated the 90th birthday of our aunt in Tulsa. And at 90 years old, she, you know, just acts like she's 60, you know, getting around, doing things. Uh, so uh, when I turn 90, I definitely want to be uh, just like her, and I know it's it's probably easier for females to get, uh, but uh, anyway, that's my goal, is to be out on the trail at 90 and cruising along like I uh, am now at 60. Uh, speaking of the trail, number 15, uh, I'm going to uh, make it a point to meditate for um, at least uh, 30 minutes while out on my walk or my run. I'm already doing that a little. Sometimes I forget, and so I I don't do it. A lot of times it's easier and and more inspirational to do it when the sun is out. Uh, right now, sometimes it's completely dark or cloudy and cold and windy, and so I don't think about it. But I'm going to make it a point to uh, maybe shut the music off or the podcast off and just uh, meditate. And that's just basically you know kind of thinking uh, my thoughts uh, through the day, what I've got coming up, what I need to be doing, but also just putting out positive thoughts into the world. I mean, it, this sounds, I don't know if it, you guys have seen the, the video, The Secret, but uh, some of that stuff really works. Uh, I've done it a few times and uh, you can, sometimes you can just say, hey, you know, as you're walking and meditating that, uh, you know, my business is going to do well this year. I'm going to uh, receive money that, I, unexpected money that I am unaware of. And, and sometimes, and a lot of times, I, that, that's happened to me. It's, it's kind of crazy. I could sit down and, and tell you the stories, and I won't do that on this podcast. But so during that meditation, uh, it'll just be uh, talking through things, uh, trying to keep everything uh, with good vibes, and uh, trying to make sure that I am telling myself that I am going to be successful, that these things are going to happen. And I think if, if you say that and you meditate that enough, uh, you begin to believe it, and then those things do happen. I 100% believe that, so I will continue to do that. Number 16, uh, I plan on buying and selling items online. So it's kind of fun to have a little extra cash to, if you see an item that's, that's for sale and you know it's worth way more than what it's being sold for, you can buy it and then flip it. And so uh, I like doing that with older vintage 70s type stuff. And so I'm gonna try to start buying and selling more vintage 70s type stuff and you know the ultimate goal might be to one day open a vintage 70s shop you never know but at least this way it's it again it's just kind of a fun uh, side venture to make money you, you know even hit some garage sales or auctions and buy some things and then just start flipping them online uh, for a while that way you don't have to open up a store and maybe just doing an online store that might be the way to do it so I plan on doing that a lot more number 17 I'm gonna get that darn drone out of the freaking box I'm gonna fly it this year um, I don't know why I've always I just felt like I needed to get my drone license but I don't I can get it out and I can fly it anywhere that is allowable uh, for my own pleasure without a drone license. Uh, supposedly, I just need the license if I'm going to do it commercially or make money. And uh, just to get it out of the box and take some sunrise and sunset pictures, I'll use them on my own uh, Facebook page and, and platforms and not make any money with them. And so I do not need a license to do that. So. I, I mean, the drone is still in the box. It's probably been two years since I bought that darn thing. It's still got the wrapping uh, on it and everything, but I'm gonna get it out, I'm gonna fly it, and I'm going to uh, have some really cool sunrise and sunset pics for you guys. So uh, look for that coming this year. Number 18, uh, part of this whole cleaning up thing is I'm gonna declutter my desk. Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see it here in the background on the YouTube, but I've got lots of bills piled up, lots of paper, lots of tech gadgets that 
they all just kind of get set on there and it just keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper and there's literally no room to get anything done. So I'm going to declutter the desk and try to keep it decluttered all of the time. So uh, that's going to entail me trying to find locations for the bills and everything that's on there is going to need a place to go so it doesn't end up on there again. So that will be part of the decluttering is just to find out where I'm going to put all that stuff. And then I think with a decluttered desk, it just, I think I get more done. I feel more productive. I feel like I've accomplished something every day when I come in and I just see a nice clean desk. So uh, that's going to add to my positivity throughout 2023. Number 19, I'm going to keep a detailed calendar for work. Uh, I have missed a few happenings and events just because I forget. Uh, with uh, got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm going to keep a, uh, and not necessarily a detailed calendar of everything that I'm going to go cover, but a detailed calendar of what's happening. And so that way, if I keep track of all of the events and happenings going on in town, then I at least know, oh yeah, that's going on. I've got free time. I'll go cover that as opposed to just forgetting what five things might be happening this week and not covering any of them. Uh, that way, uh, that's going to make Enid Buzz a lot better and uh, give my audience a lot more coverage on items. And so I will uh, set up a calendar, which I've already got the calendar. Uh, I just need to plug in every time. I've got to start remembering that when I see an, an event, immediately plug it into the calendar and then uh, I won't forget it. That's the same way with messages. Plug it in, write it down. That way it's it's documented and I'm not going to forget it. So, And then number 20, um, you know, me and my twos. Uh, so I decided to, uh, I, was, I was only going to do 10. And then uh, I got through 10 pretty easy and thought, oh, wow, I got to do a few more of these. So number 20, uh, I've got listed as adventure, adventure, adventure. Uh, I need to go on more adventures this year and in the future. I had a lot of, you know, I was doing a lot of that stuff there a few years back. Uh, COVID kind of ended a lot of that, but it is time to start scheduling and looking for more adventures to go on. And these don't have to be like big things like going to the inauguration of a president or, you know, driving up to Nebraska to see a total eclipse of the sun, which though I am going to be driving to Dallas in 2024 to see the next one. Um, or flying with the Thunderbirds, it, 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 you know, a lot of these can be smaller things that uh, I'm going to come up with, uh, small bucket list type of things to do and adventures to go on. So I think that's going to be my mantra is just uh, as I hit 60, it's time to go on more adventures and do more things while whilst I can. And so that is my list of 20 uh, changes uh, for, I call them life changes for 2023. And again, these are not goals. I, uh, these are not resolutions. These are things that I will do. Um, they're, they're all easy to do. They're all easy to maintain. Uh, again, some of them, like I had said, I'm already doing them. I just want to reiterate and plan on continuing them throughout the year. And so that's going to be my 20 changes for 2020, 2023. You guys let me know if you guys have any goals or changes that you guys are going to do throughout the year. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, send me your episode ideas if you guys want me to uh, track down something or talk about something uh, or to get a guest on here. If you guys want me, uh, let me know what type of people you'd like me to talk to or any of that or any of the, uh, you know, background stuff or behind the scenes stuff that I'm not talking about. Let me know if you guys would like to hear uh, some more of that. But uh, that's about it. Hopefully I didn't say uh, 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 too much. I, I tried to cut it out. And the more the plan is also to do more podcast episodes uh, this year. I've kind of let it go last year and didn't update there the last three or four months uh, very much. So hopefully the, as I get back into uh, doing it on a regular basis, I can um, get rid of all the hums and ums and 
all that. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys listening. You guys uh, keep me updated with the goal, what's going on with you guys. Shags at shaggyduck.com. Don't forget you can go to YouTube dot com slash Curtis Tucker TV or the at Curtis Tucker on YouTube and you'll find me there. Watch the videos there. I am waving at you now from Shaggy Duck Studio. Come check it out on the video. If you're listening just on the podcast, I appreciate you guys. Leave me a review there on Apple iTunes or some other podcasting app that you're using. And I am going to get out of here and wish you guys one more time a very productive, a very positive new year and I will talk to you on the next episode. See ya!